On today's episode, what happens to Boeing's Starliner now? Today's episode is brought to you by Engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on Engineering.com TV today. In crewed spaceflight, most national space programs have relied on a single system to lift people into orbit. With the very limited launch cadence for the first 50 years of spaceflight, this made sense. But in the US, NASA has shifted from a monopoly on humans in space to a focus on exploration and an increasing emphasis on commercial solutions for taxi rides to the International Space Station. Hardware development challenges amongst NASA contractors in this area are nothing new. Three lives were lost in 1967 on Apollo 1, and a disaster was narrowly averted in 1970 during Apollo 13. 14 astronauts have lost their lives in the loss of the Space Shuttle's Challenger in Columbia, and significant interruptions in the flight schedules were necessary to correct these problems. To get around this, NASA planned the Commercial Crew Program to use multiple sources for lift to low Earth orbit, and the SpaceX Dragon, building on their cargo experience, has built a very reliable system for getting astronauts into space. The second source chosen by NASA is, of course, the Boeing Starliner, developed without an experienced space and cargo delivery as enjoyed by SpaceX. And the problems for Boeing have been many. A software issue during an uncrewed test flight in December 2019 resulted in an incorrect orbital insertion burn. Testing in 2021 revealed erratic thruster firing and obstruction in critical valves in the spacecraft service module. Problems in assembly, testing, and integration have also pushed back the spacecraft's timeline. For example, Starliner uses a unique docking mechanism that has faced issues in simulations and testing. It initially struggled to align properly with the ISS docking port during tests, requiring adjustments to the software and hardware to improve the accuracy of the system. Now, redesign of systems to meet NASA specifications is sometimes necessary, but the space agency has complex and lengthy certification procedures, and a new design means a requalification of those systems, adding delays and cost. The COVID pandemic further slowed development, and now it's widely expected that the entire Starliner program will be sold by Boeing, as the company sheds non-core assets in an effort to rejuvenate the civilian airliner business. But the real question about the future of Starliner doesn't involve hardware, software qualification, or ownership. Donald Trump is the incoming president, and Elon Musk is widely believed to be part of a Trump team designed to overhaul government. Musk's company, SpaceX, is not only a reliable crew taxi to low Earth orbit, but the company is developing a heavy lift system which could theoretically replace NASA-developed hardware for the Artemis program, possibly at lower cost. Could NASA realize significant cost savings by abandoning other crewed space vehicle programs and going all in with SpaceX? Possibly, although doing this would abandon the core reason for using Boeing and other upcoming systems like the Sierra Space Dream Chaser, and that's redundancy. And of course, the time-honored secondary goal of many space and military procurement programs. Subsidizing enough industrial capacity in the economy to ensure that hardware would be available if needed in quantity in the future. Everything may hinge on the next test flight of Starliner. If it works, it will most likely move forward. If it fails, the Trump administration may take drastic steps. We'll know in a year or two. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by Engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.